topic, new chapter, which is called destiny. Okay? I hope in my last videos about the fraction you get everything clearly and there is no doubt. And today we have new chapter which is also very important chapter and very interesting chapter that you will study in this video. Okay? So let us see about the decimal of the number. So first of all I would like to tell you what is the decimal. What is the decimal? And what is the decimal number? So as we know that if we write any number like this 2 upon 5 If I write a number like this 2 upon 5 Then if I ask what is the type of this number Then your answer will be this is a fraction This is a fraction Or sometimes you can say that this is a fractional this is a fractional number. This is the fractional number. Okay? <coughs> so in the same way, here we also say that the number which having decimal point is called decimal number. So what is the figure? What is the photo of decimal and how we represent the numbers with decimal? So, decimal is just a dot. A decimal is only represented by a dot. Okay? You can say that it is a point. But which type of point? This is the decimal point. This is the decimal point. Okay? So, decimal is represented by point decimal is just represented by dot and this dot is called decimal point decimal point okay this dot is called decimal point so students now let's start our topic about the decimal so before knowing about the decimal I would like to explain first decimal fraction which is very important or you can say that this is the zero base decimal fraction is the zero base to know about the decimal so that you should know first about what is the decimal fraction you can say that the decimal number are come from the decimal fraction okay so let's see first of all what is the decimal fraction. If I just write only the fraction, if I write only fraction, and if I ask what is the fraction, if I ask what is the fraction, then your answer will be a fraction is a part of a whole. Your answer will be a fraction. A fraction is a part a fraction is a part of a whole ok so this is the definition of fraction and I hope that you know about what is the fraction fraction is a part of a whole what is the fraction? fraction is a part of a whole but if I write a new word before fraction like this if I write decimal fraction then you will say that we study about proper fraction improper fraction mixed fraction like fraction unlike fraction but here you will say that which type of this fraction then your answer will be which type of fraction so this is the new type and this type of fraction is called decimal fraction. So, what is the fraction? Your answer will be a fraction in which which is a part of whole. Then this is the fraction. But we cannot implement this definition in the decimal factor, decimal fraction. Why? Because the original definition of fraction is a 
fraction is a part of whole. So we cannot implement this definition in the decimal. We define the decimal fraction. We say that a fraction. Here we directly use the word fraction. Why we use the word fraction? Because we know what is a fraction. So we say that a fraction in which the fraction in which the denominator is always 10 or multiple of 10. Okay? A fraction in which the denominator is either 10 or the multiple of 10. Okay? So, I write here the definition fractions. that have the denominator ten or multiple of ten. Okay? This is the definition. Fraction having the denominator 10 or the multiple of 10. So, what is the multiple of 10? When you multiply 10 by 10, 100, 1000, you will get the multiple of 10. Let me write here what is the multiple. If I write 10 and here we have to write the multiple of 10. So, if we multiply 10 by 1, we get 10, 10 multiplied by 10, this is also 100, so that 100 is the multiple of 10. Again, 10 multiplied by 100, and then we will get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1000. 1000 is also an, is also multiple of 10. If I ask why, why I am using here 10, 100, thousand only because I would like to keep the last digit of the denominator is be 0. Yes, you can also use that 10 multiplied by 2, 10 multiplied by 3 and so on. But here, continuously in every step, I increase one zero. That is, I increase the digit in every time. So, we get the another size of multiple of 10. Okay? So, here, we shall use this concept to define the decimal fraction. So here the definition is fractions that have the denominator 10 or its multiple of 10. So if I write the example, I write 225 upon 10, 37 upon 100, 379. Okay, I take 3, 379. And this is 1,238 upon 1,000 and etc. So these are the examples of these are the examples of decimal fraction. These are the example of decimal fraction. Okay. So these are the these are the decimal fraction. Okay. Now these Decimal fractions can also be expressed as can also be expressed as this 25 upon 10 can also be written as 2.5 this can also be written as 3.79 and this can be written as 1.258 okay why I did so let me explain. Here, here the dot, dot is called, this dot is known as decimal point. This dot is known as decimal point. Okay. And this is the decimal. And we read this number and we read this number, read as read as 2.5 we read as 
2.5 okay so these number these all number are called decimal numbers okay these all numbers are called decimal numbers or here one most important thing is that this decimal point this decimal point separate this decimal point separate the whole number and the fractional form this decimal point separate the whole number and the fractional part here the number on the left side of the decimal are known as whole number the numbers on the left side of the decimal point are known as whole number so here 2 is whole number 2 is whole number and 5 is the fractional part 5 is the fractional part. okay there is also a question arise why 2 is whole number and 5 is the fractional part so let me explain this <coughs> Here, if we write 225 upon 10, if I write 25 upon 10, then here we can see that this is the improper fraction. This is the improper fraction. So, whenever it is the improper fraction, then it can be converted into mixed fraction. So, here when it become into mixed fraction, we get 2 whole 5 upon 10. We get 2 whole 5 upon 10 and here i say 2 whole so if i say 2 whole which means that 2 is the whole number and 5 upon 10 5 upon 10 is the fractional part or it is called decimal fraction part or it is also known as decimal part so that 2 in the 2.5 Two is the whole number. Two is the whole number, and five is the fractional part or decimal part. Okay. Therefore, two is called whole part or whole number, and five is called fractional number or decimal number. Okay. And it is always obvious that the numbers. on the left side of decimal the numbers on the left side of decimal that is the whole number are always greater than the number on the right side of the decimal because the number on the left side are the whole number and the number on the right side are the fractional part that is the part of the whole that is why the numbers on the right side of the decimal are always smaller than the number on the left side of the decimal okay student so i hope it is clear to everyone we shall discuss some more topic or some more about the decimal in the next video okay so keep watching my video till then goodbye